Hey guys, it's Comic Central here, and today we're going to be doing another battle. Today we're going to be doing a battle between the ruler of Underworld's healer versus the Themyscirian warrior, Wonder Woman. This battle will be a fight to the death or until one of the fighters can't fight. It will be set in an ancient war zone, however, there will be no outside help for either of them. This war zone means it is a neutral ground for both of them. They'll also both have to, the standard equipment, and with that said, let's get into this. Starting this off, we have Healer. Healer was born a long time ago to a being that become known as Loki and a sorceress named Angboda. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure though as it is a Norse name. On the day of her maturity, Odin pointed her a goddess and ruler of the northern realms of the dead. Her special dominion was over the souls of every soul that did not die in battle. Odin himself built the palace that is known as Valhalla to house the souls of all the souls who did die as heroes and not cowards. In more recent years, when Odin had his attention turned away from the maintenance of Valhalla, Hela tried to attach that realm to her own realm. She hoped that this would consolidate her power over all of Asgard's dead. Eventually, when Odin became aware of her ambitions and opposed them. During battle with Hela, Odin's band of Valkoria, who were the custodians of Valhalla, lost their physical forms and were no longer able to travel from Valhalla. Well, they could, but they had to travel in a wraith-like astral form. Hela eventually gave up wanting to get Valhalla when Odin vowed to keep better watch over Valhalla in the future. Hela then returned to her realms. Although Hela's province is over Asgard's deceased, she has very occasionally formed alliances with several other gods of death such as Pluto, who is the Olympian god of death. She has also allied herself with multiple rulers of demonic and hellish realms such as Blackheart, Mephisto, Dormammu and Satanish. Hela has quite a few powers and abilities such as superhuman strength, stamina and durability, black magic, telepathy, life expansion, reincarnation, teleportation, deadly touch which is the power to instantly kill any Asgardian with a single touch. Then last but not least, she certainly has high levels of mystical powers. Now moving on to Wonder Woman. Dinah is the daughter of Queen Hippolyta. Diana is the first child born on Themyscira in over 3,000 years. That time is equivalent to the entire time the Amazons have lived there for. The Amazons themselves were created around the year 12,000 BC, when the Greek goddesses summoned the souls of all women who had been murdered by men and placed them back on the island. One soul was held back, being completely created though. That soul would one day be called Diana. That soul originally belonged to the unborn daughter of the first woman murdered by a man. Hippolyta was the reincarnation of this woman as well, in case you're wondering. In the late 20th century, Hippolyta was to mould some clay from the shores of Themyscira into the form of a baby girl. Six members of the Greek pantheon then bounded the lost soul to the clay, giving it life. Each of the six members also granted Diana a gift. Get ready for Greek god named Butchering now. Demeter gave her great strength, Athena, wisdom and courage, Artemis, a hunter's heart and communion with animals, Aphrodite, speed and of course the power of flight. Diana grew up surrounded by a large amount of sisters and mothers. When Diana was a young woman, the god said that the Amazons must send a diplomatic mission into the men's world. Hippolyta ordered that a contest should be held but didn't allow Diana to take place. Diana disobeyed and participated in a disguise and easily won the contest. Diana was named the Amazon's champion. Diana was given a uniform that was designed from the standard of someone who had visited the island a few decades ago. Diana did not keep her identity a secret and was not a superheroine at first. In many ways, her character was originally a damsel in distress and was very innocent. Diana spoke Themyscirian with a small combination of Greek and Turkish. She learned English when she arrived in America, but she did not always know it. Diana was trained as a warrior and used deadly force when it was called for. Diana often dealt with war, injustice, inequality, death, and conflicts that involved the Olympian gods. Before embarking on her mission, she was giving the lasso of truth that was forged by Eustis himself. She was also giving the sandals of Hermes, which allowed her to travel great distances in mere seconds. Her mission was one of peace, but it did involve defeating a mad plot by Ares to destroy the world. She started her exploration of the world in Boston. Here she met a Harvard professor named Julia Capitilius, and a daughter named Vanessa Capitilius, as well as an Air Force officer known as Steve Trevor and Etta Candy. 
Dinah stayed with Julia and Vanessa, and in only a month or two, she learned English. She was attacked by Decay, who was one of Ares' minions, and the battle spilled onto the streets of Boston and first came into the public eye, and she was given the name of Wonder Woman. Upon discovering Ares' plan, which involved a nuclear holocaust, Diana foiled it, but not after battling Ares' sons named Phobos and Deimos, before finally convincing him the evil of his ways using her lasso of truth. After defeating Ares, Diana returned home for healing at the hands of Poseidon himself. Wonder Woman's powers and abilities consist of superhuman strength, speed, durability, reflexes, and longevity. She also has an accelerated healing factor, flight, and utilizes things such as the lasso of truth, indestructible bracelets, a projectile tiara, and her sword and shield. Now onto the final verdict. Who would win in this epic battle? That answer is Wonder Woman. Now I know many people will be angry at that, but just hear me out. Healer is just below god level, and Wonder Woman is not near god level at all. But she can kill and defeat gods, and considering that Healer is just below god level, you can get where I'm coming from. Wonder Woman's lasso also will be able to capture and subdue Healer with relative ease as it is near unbreakable. Healer would put up a massive and difficult fight for Wonder Woman, but she would come out of this victorious. Wonder Woman has also put up a fight for beings such as Superman and Ares and beat them in some circumstances, which both of these beings being arguably more powerful and stronger than Healer. Wonder Woman has also deflected a blast from all 12 gods at the same time with her bracelets a power that Kit Healer couldn't even come close to matching or exceeding. Healer would be also be less powerful as she is outside of her own dominion, meaning that she would have a limited control over life and death. Healer's touch of death wouldn't work on Wonder Woman as Wonder Woman herself has survived many similar attacks from Hades on multiple occasions. Wonder Woman is also a considerable amount of speed over Healer, giving her the edge in yet, yet another area. Speed will also be a massive factor into winning this battle. And that brings us to the end of yet another battle. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.